Regional Stakeholder Network Information Pack. Ministerial Forward. Regional Stakeholder Network Information Pack. Ministerial Forward. Right Honourable Chloe Smith, MP, Minister for Disabled People. The government is committed to improving the everyday lives of all disabled people. And our regional stakeholder network, made up of nine regional groups from across England, is crucial in making sure disabled people's lived experiences are understood and championed. As we deliver change for disabled people, it is crucial that we keep that lived experience at the heart of policy making every step of the way. Therefore, we are refreshing the regional stakeholder network. We are looking for regional chairs who will help shape national policy, be a bridge between disabled people, their organisations and government. They will work in a voluntary capacity, alongside senior civil servants and me, to help make a difference for disabled people. I encourage you to take a look at the recruitment process and consider if this leadership role within your region would be a good fit for you. My team in the Disability Unit will be on hand to answer any questions you may have and if you do decide this opportunity is for you, then I wish you the best of luck in the process. Background to the Disability Unit Background to the Disability Unit we support the Minister for Disabled People in their cross-government role on disability. At the heart of our work is a focus on reducing the barriers faced by disabled people, both in government and across wider business and society. We are the focal point for the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, open brackets, UN CRPD, close brackets, across government. About the Regional Stakeholder Network. About the Regional Stakeholder Network. The Regional Stakeholder Network began in 2019. It is facilitated by the Disability Unit to enhance the government's existing engagement with disabled people. Objectives The main objectives of our stakeholder engagement are to provide regular meaningful opportunities for disabled people to share their views and experiences of the policies, services and programmes that affect them. And inform government on issues that they feel are important. Greater diversity and regional representation from individuals and smaller 
disability organisations. A more proactive approach to engagement with face-to-face -face meetings, virtual meetings, digital communication and other accessible methods. The coordination of disabled people's views to feed them into the design, development and running of government policies, services and programmes. In order to meet these objectives, we have established a regional stakeholder network, open brackets, RSN, close brackets, made up of nine regional groups. How it works. How it works. There are nine regional groups in England. Northwest, North East, Yorkshire and the Humber, West Midlands, East Midlands, South West, South East, East of England, Greater London. Each regional network consists of 10 to 40 members from local disabled people, parents and carers of disabled people and disabled people's representative organisations. The regional network is led by a chair who is supported by a deputy. The chair and deputy are supported by the disability unit and will be provided with a small expense budget for personal assistance in the role. Each of the regional networks should meet at least four times a year. These meetings can be virtual or in person. The disability unit will pay for one in-person meeting per year. The meetings will provide an open forum to share views and experience across all policies and services that affect disabled people. The meetings may also have more structured discussions about a theme about which government would like to hear people's views and experiences. The network chairs will meet monthly. This is currently a virtual meeting. The agenda for the meetings will be decided collaboratively between the chairs and the disability unit. In addition to the meetings, the disability unit will engage with the networks and other disabled people's organisations. Through email and digital services such as Citizen Space to enable even more disabled people to share their views online. We will also be providing opportunities for disabled people who don't have access to or cannot use digital means to engage by other methods. The chairs will play an important role in providing insight into specific strands of government-led research. Insight gathered from the meetings and engagement will be passed to the relevant government department and policy makers working on the issues that have been identified and to the Minister for Disabled People.
the disability unit will provide a you said, we did format of reporting back to the regions via the chair's group. Feedback will also help to inform the government's responsibilities under the UNCRPD. How the government will use this information. How the government will use this information. The Minister for Disabled People will meet with the chairs of the nine regional groups to hear about the views and priorities of the members of each group. Additionally, the views and experiences gathered from the regional stakeholder network meetings will be shared with the relevant government department and policy makers working on the issues that have been identified. This information will be used to help them to understand where policies might not be working as well as they could be, or provide feedback on things that are working well. Chairs may request that specific points of discussion raised or disclosed in meetings are not shared beyond the meeting. The Disability Unit will provide updates to the members of the Regional Stakeholder Network to share progress on the issues that have been raised and how the government is using this information. Regional Stakeholder Network Chair's Role Regional Stakeholder Network Chair's Role We are looking for chairs with lived experience and understanding of disability who can represent groups of disabled people in each region. They will have links and can make links with other local organisations in their region to identify issues of interest to disabled people and represent those disabled people at the RSN. The chairs will be expected to engage with and give feedback to other local organisations between network meetings to ensure that their representation is accurate and current to the needs of the people they represent. The chairs must be fair and even-handed and must be able to Convene and facilitate network meetings and ensure all members have the opportunity to be fully engaged with the meeting process. Be impartial and ensure all voices are heard, regardless of their personal views, and report a broad range of views. Work with the Disability Unit to feed the views of the network to the government and coordinate the work of their network during the year. They will be expected to Confidently engage with different people, gain their views and opinions Be a figurehead for the network in their region, ensuring that regular recruitment of organisations and members are encouraged to join. Report views and opinions of others. 
reflecting differences of opinion and points of agreement. Bring together people with differing views. Build trust to create a collaboration and dialogue between network members. The appointments are unpaid. However, travel expenses and any costs required to support a disability will be paid to enable you to attend the annual network meeting. The meetings are all currently held virtually. There is an expense allowance for chairs to gain personal assistance with the administration of the network. Duration of appointments. The appointments will be made by the Minister for Disabled People for a 12-month period with a review of the network at the end of that period. Confidentiality All discussions will be conducted under Chatham House Rules. Participants are free to use the information received but the identity of the speaker is not revealed. Comments will be attributed to the network as a whole, not to an individual. How to apply How to apply. If you are interested in being considered for one of these positions, please complete the application form. It is important you complete the application form in full. This is to ensure the selection panel can easily find the information they require. and can compare the responses from all candidates equally and transparently against each other. For this reason, applications from candidates who have not completed the application form will not be considered. Linking to websites for information such as LinkedIn is not acceptable. All information will be treated in the strictest confidence. However, if you are successful, some information will be used to prepare the press notice of successful appointees. We will, however, clear any information used with you first. Applications should be sent to Disability Unit at cabinetoffice.gov.uk or by post to Correspondence Team, Cabinet Office, 70 Whitehall, London, SW1A 2AS, United Kingdom. Accessible Formats Accessible Formats please contact the following email address for an application form in an accessible format. disabilityunit at cabinetoffice.gov.uk Receipt of all applications will be acknowledged by email and we will notify you if you are successful or unsuccessful in due course. Recruitment Process 
Recruitment Process A selection panel will sift candidates for appointment based on the criteria in the application pack. If two or more candidates are deemed equally suitable for a particular role, they will be invited to an interview. Should interviews be required, they will be held virtually or in a fully accessible venue to be confirmed. The closing date for receipt of applications is 12 weeks from publication date. The panel will submit its recommendations for appointments to the Minister for Disabled People who will decide on and make the appointments. Standards of conduct and conflicts of interest Standards of conduct and conflicts of interest The successful candidate will be required to show commitment to the seven principles of public life. As drawn up by the Committee on Standards in Public Life, more commonly known as the Nolan Principles. https colon forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash government forward slash publications forward slash the dash seven dash principles dash of dash public dash life. The RSN is a public body and, as such, is expected to maintain a register of chairs' interests to avoid any danger of board members being influenced or appearing to be influenced by their private interests in the exercise of their public duties. Candidates may be questioned about any real or perceived conflicts of interest. These do not constitute an automatic bar to appointment, but they must be manageable. Conflicts could include Financial arrangements, for example, fees or shareholdings of the candidate, business associates or close family. Membership of organisations whose aims might be perceived to be in conflict with those of the DWP or DU. Any activity which, if revealed after appointment, could cause embarrassment to the government. Equal opportunities. Equal opportunities. The department is committed to providing real equality of opportunity, irrespective of race, nationality, color, ethnic or national origin, disability, religion, sex, marital status, sexual orientation, age, gender assignment, work pattern or membership or non-membership of a trade union. Data protection. 
Data Protection We take our obligations under the Data Protection Act seriously. Any information about you will be held in secure conditions with access restricted to those who need it in connection with dealing with your application and the selection process. Data may also be used for the purposes of monitoring the effectiveness of the recruitment process. But in these circumstances, all data will be kept anonymous. If you are unsuccessful, your personal data relating to your application will be destroyed after 12 months. If you would like further information, then please refer to the HM Government's Personal Information Charter. https colon forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash government forward slash organizations forward slash cabinet dash office forward slash about forward slash personal dash information dash charter.